afternoon. My name is Leo Tapic, owner and director of the Golf Performance Academy. Today's topic is letting go, the setting up to the golf ball and letting go. The sooner you can let yourself take whatever hand-eye coordination you have, you're going to have not only a better time playing, a lot more fun, but you're going to see a difference in the shot patterns that you hit. We're going to go on the assumption that everyone holds the club, postures the body, and aligns their body for the right-handed player to the left side of the target or the left-handed player to the right side of the target. The main objective is to have a right-sided start to the swing if you're a le left-handed player and a left-sided start to the swing if you're a right-handed player. A right-handed player, left side start, a left-handed player, a right side start. With that security in mind, we need a way to get to the golf ball as consistent as all the greatest players you've ever watched or heard of. Majority of players, by the way, on tour are left-handed playing righty or ambidextrous as some of the left-handed players that are out there. So I'm going to show you a routine that I was in, lucky enough to be introduced to in 1973 and I've carried it over for my players. For the right-handed players, it introduces a dominant left side to the start of the swing. For the left-handed players, a dominant right side to start the swing. And that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to have in the right-handed player, the left hand is on top, the left side is the side that starts the swing. For the left-handed player, the right side is the one that starts the swing. So if we're in a better position over the golf ball, fitting the shape of the golf club, you'll have an easier time making solid contact. They're not going to always go at the target line. You'll have an easier time hitting it in the center of the face to allow you to play. After that, you can take that development of your starting routine and setup routine and go hit golf balls. So being in the right place, right time, holding the club correctly in your hands, in the fingers, fingers of both hands, and having your body aligned to the inside of the target line, the left of the target line if you're a right-handed player, and to the right if you're lefted. From there, you just need to find a way to go. Yes, a way to go, not to go mechanically. After you've hit golf balls on the range, even if it's been four months, but after you've hit golf balls on the range and you hit that one shot, that one bright and shining shot, it's never going to leave you. It's upstairs in your right brain. Right brain, the creative side, for drawing, for music. It's already there. You have to call on that when it's time to play. And that calling comes from making a decision, a decision of the experience one swing, one time with that club. Once you've made that decision, you then, for the right-handed players, you would walk into the golf ball with your right side closer than you wish to be, drop back with your left side where you'd like to be. It's called the ready, get, set, go position. It's the position that you would shoot a foul shot as you continue to bounce the ball and look at either the front or the back of the basket. It's the position you would hold waiting to return a serve in tennis. You'd be in motion. One of the reasons that golf, that, that players tend to leave the game, it's really tough. It's very difficult to play the game. Throw in information of how to on the course, you're going to have a difficult time. You really need to let go on the course and see what your potential is, then take it back to the range. Then take it to your LPGA or PGA coach. Find out if you, re if you would really like to enjoy the game as many, as many, many others do, as I have for this happens to be my 50th year, I think you'd have a good time. So let's go through that one more time. For the right-handed players, just reverse it for the lefty. We take a small step to the golf ball with our right side. We take a small step to the golf ball with our shoulders, hips, and feet on a 45-degree angle left to the target. 
and we jump step in. From that position, our shoulders are left of our hips, our hips are left of our feet, and our ignition starts the swing. Thanks for watching. I'm Leo Tabak, owner and operator of the Golf Performance Academy.